Obama officially announces he's re-entering politics, here's his first sickening move. Once again, the demagogue Obama is trying to come back onto the scene in any desperate manner he can to try and stay relevant enough to take down the Republican Party and the true values of this country. As if his hefty speaking fees and his jet setting to meet with world leaders, acting as if he were still the president, isn't offensive enough to those of us who are smart enough to see his agenda, now he is back to play a role as a political fundraiser. According to Daddy Stick, since he left office, Obama has impressed few with his money-grubbing $400,000 speaking fees and lavish lifestyle, even Dems have been critical of their former hero for some of his choices lately. That has not stopped them from opening the doors and inviting him back into the folds. He will be the main attraction at a fundraiser later this week for the National Democratic Redistricting Committee. Joining him will be NDRC Chair and former Attorney General Eric Holder along with House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi. This group was created to challenge Republican success in their redistricting efforts. Redistricting is the process of creating new boundaries to political districts. Many say it is done to make areas more favorable to one party or another, giving certain candidates an advantage. Republicans have managed to use it to win for several election cycles and that has Democrats upset and ready to fight. The old team will be getting back together again. Holder has announced that the National Democratic Redistricting Committee is proud to have the support of President Obama as we work to undo gerrymandering and create fairer representation in our democracy. Of course, the term fair is open for interpretation to liberals. This fundraiser will likely be the beginning of the former leader's return to the political scene. We can expect more expensive speeches and support for upcoming elections. Obama is already expected to campaign for Ralph Northam, a Virginia candidate for governor. It remains to be seen who else he will decide to try and help. Naturally, many liberals still remain loyal to the man. He was their hero for eight years. However, as more details come out about his presidency, his popularity has declined. The American public seems to not approve of how he spied on citizens and dealt with foreign countries with complete disregard for U.S. interests. It should be interesting to see if his return will help or hurt the desperately floundering Democratic Party. When will this man realize that his presence is only going to hurt the very party he claims to want to help? He will only help conservatives in the long run by showing more and more of the corruption that is the left, and as irritating as it is to see him on any public platform, one can't help but see it as another way of winning for us again. Obama and his deep state will not win because those he stands against already know too much about what he is planning. That is the worst way to try and pull any kind of takeover. Cover.